What you're about to watch is part of an online training that I do twice a month inside my Movement Makers program where I coach entrepreneurs like you how to build an online movement, how to make money from it, and use it to make a huge impact on the world. Enjoy. Movement Makers in the house. This is one of the most fun topics because this is something that I struggled probably the most with in making my content and one of the biggest reasons why uh, I did not do well at the beginning. And so I don't know who asked this topic, but this is, this is a fantastic one. We are talking today about how to make content that touches people's hearts. So let's dive in. This is awesome. We talk about emotional commitment, the thing I struggled the most with, and we're going to go and look at some of my old videos and be embarrassed by how bad it was at the start. Uh, so just like your success can be other people's inspiration, um, how much you sucked and kept going can also be other people's <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> so that's uh, that's the goal for today's session. So emotional commitment, I'd never even heard of this term before. This is something, one of the, one of the most important changes that I made as a content creator that started to make an impact. And it came from my agent, Steve. Uh, this is a picture of, of me and Steve uh, when we met up in New York. And my first videos weren't that great. And you can go back and you can watch. We're not going to go through too many today, but a few, the more embarrassing ones. And this is my very first video. And in my first video, I thought I had to be professional. I thought I had to be in a suit and sit down and have it professionally filmed and memorize my lines and be perfect and scripted. And um, this took two days to make. Uh, and <laughs> I had three comments in that first year, right? My mom, my sister, and this guy, ABC TV ads. So in one year of my first video going up, I only had three comments and two of them were from my family. Uh, and so it was, it was really rough. Um, and I made all the mistakes that we all make. And so the goal was something like this and movie makers is to try to help you guys shortcut the path so that you're not, um, you don't have to take as long as I did to get there. And so emotional commitment behind the content made a huge, 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 huge difference. So you, you guys are, you're, you know what you're talking about. You're experts, right? You've been through something and that something can help inspire and serve a lot of people. The problem is, and the problem for me and in watching your videos, the, the problem for you is you're saying a lot of times the right words and we're so focused on saying the right words, but there's no emotion behind the words. And if there's no emotion behind the words, then people won't follow along. They won't pay attention. They won't take notice. They won't do the action and your content, your channel won't grow. So even more important than the perfect words that you're saying is how emotionally connected are you to the thing that you're saying? It's the old Maya Angelou quote that people remember how you made them feel, right? That's what they remember the most, not what you said, but how you made them feel. And if there's no emotion behind the words you're saying, then they won't feel anything different. So uh, Steve had just incredible patience with me <laughs> for some reason. He just loved me for some reason, I guess, because uh, it took me a long time to get halfway decent on camera on videos and um yeah, I, I must have been his little pet project or charity case <laughs> to, to help me get going. So emotional commitment is what we want to start paying attention to in our content. All right, deep breath. Let's start looking at some old Evan Carmichael videos and I will, I will give myself some coaching uh, and look back. So I started in 2009, okay? And, and I don't, we don't have to go all the way back. You guys can look at that if you want. This is 2011 now. This is my third year of making content. Okay, so it's not just like my first video going up. This is Evan in year three of making content. Okay, so first I'm making all the classic mistakes, right? I have my intro coming on as the first thing. I thought I had to be fancy and professional and show off, right? So, you know, we, we're not doing this. No fancy intros. Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael. Welcome to another edition of Ask Evan. In today's video, I'm... Okay, so already, you know, there's no energy. Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael, and welcome to another edition of Ask Evan, right? I'm going to answer a question from one of my readers, Anna Oro, who is asking about the videos that I make, how I make them, and why I make them. So specifically, wrote in asking, Hi, Evan, you are just a great guy for being consistent with your messages. Thank you. I have two questions for you. One, in what way do these messages you send to people positively impact your business? I mean, economically or financially. 
And two, do you have people working on them and sending them out for you, or do you have to write and work on people's questions, new ideas continuously? When do you have the core of your business to take care of as well? I want to say something like this, but I need to know if it's worth my while. Thanks, and Oro. So a couple of ideas here for you on, on how and why I create these videos. Um, most of the videos that I create come from reader questions, just like this, just like the one that, that you wrote in. Uh, I don't make money from these videos. Sometimes they're sponsored by a corporate partner, uh, but most of the videos are not sponsored. I do the what videos I because I really like helping out entrepreneurs, and this is what gets me excited. I'll usually okay, so thoughts. What are your thoughts on this video? Pop it, pop it in the chat. I'd love to see what's coming up. Chrissy says it's adorable. Ida says nice computer. Where's the computer? Oh, the <laughs> well, this is 2011. That's an old school computer. Uh, is that Windows 95? I have no idea. Uh, how were you making money back then? So I, I, I mean, I wasn't at the beginning, right? I had some some sponsors on videos, but like I said, I just I love doing it, you know. Like I'm three years in making content just because I love doing it. Now I had, I had sold my business already, a different business, my first company, and I had some money. So it wasn't that I needed this to necessarily pay off right away. Um, but I just love doing it, right? They're like, I'm, how do you keep going even on year three when you're struggling and not getting traction and not making any money? Well, it's just because I love actually doing it. Your smile is underutilized. No energy, says Michael. Shy Evan, low energy compared to current Evan. It's it's somewhat flat. That's very kind, Denise. I'd say it's very flat <laughs> compared to you now, but still genuine, honest, and real. So this is this is the difference, right? Uh, Izum, uh, Izumi says, I don't feel Evan that I feel now. Critiques, monotone, no energy, no powerful intro statement. Yeah, so to Denise's point, right, it's still genuine, honest, and real. This is where this is where a lot of you are stuck. And I think honestly, a lot of you are already better than this. I'm still the same guy. And I still have the same, a lot of same information to share. I mean, I've hopefully learned a little bit in the past, what, 11 years. <laughs> but, but I'm still, I know a lot. At 2011 knows a lot. 2011 Evan, 2011 Evan knows a lot. And you guys know a lot and you're already better than me probably in this, but this is what a lot of people's videos look like when they're getting into thought leadership. You like read somebody's question and then you just start talking and sharing and helping, but because it's flat and monotone, people won't listen to the actual content. And so I'm still the same guy. This is still me. I have, I have less hair, but more emotional commitment. <laughs> That's the difference, right? So we don't have to watch this whole thing. We'll go, we'll go to the next one. Zane says, Evan isn't bouncing, bouncing helps. <laughs> okay, so 2012, we're a full year later now. And now also just quick update. These are not the old thumbnails I used. I didn't even have thumbnails back then. We've just been going back and updating all of our old thumbnails. So let's see how good 2012, Evan, another year of practice, four years in now on my YouTube journey. And I'd love to see some comments down as well as you start watching. What do you think? Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael. Welcome to another edition of Ask Evan. Today I'm gonna to answer a question from one of my Facebook uh, viewers, Jasmine, who wrote in a really, really long message. It's almost uh, a page here of a message. So I won't read the whole thing, but the crux of it is, uh, I know in my heart and mind that it takes money to make money. How do you make money if you don't have the finances to, to back it up? And that's the key thing I wanted to address today. I want to get that notion out of your head. It, it doesn't take money to make money. It's not about how many resources you have. It's about how resourceful you can be. So if you look at all the, the famous successful entrepreneurs, especially in the past, a lot of them didn't come from wealthy backgrounds. A lot of them didn't have huge investors. They bootstrapped their way up. You know, they, they made the tough decisions and did not go out and spend a lot of money. And the key here is not spending until you're making money. Okay, so we don't have to watch the whole thing. Quick thoughts, better energy, better, better lighting, more comfortable. I'd say better, you look more confident, more energy, seem more confident, more comfortable. Uh, still pitching in the beginning, a little more energy and you got right into it. Yeah, so I mean, this is still, I think, pretty bad. If, you, if you're comparing it to 2011, Evan, then maybe it's a little bit better. But in terms of emotional commitment, it still sucks. 
there's still there's still no real energy behind this. I'm just answering the question. And again, I just didn't know. This is just part of if I knew and I had something to work on, I could make it better. I thought, here's this person's question. I'm going to answer the question and and hopefully it helps and move on to the next thing. And so there, you know, I'm, I might be a little more practiced or comfortable in front of the camera with an extra year under my belt. But in terms of the emotional commitment behind the words, it's not really there. And it's funny that, you know, I'm watching back, this is now 10 years ago, that that whole line that I used about, it's about how resourceful you are instead of how many resources you have. It's still something I'll say today. <laughs> it's like 2020, 2012, Evan was, was a pretty smart guy. You know, he had some information there, but, but the delivery still needed uh, a lot of work. And so this, you know, again, I think a lot of you are already still ahead in your delivery over 2012, Evan, and you definitely have the information inside your head. And so it's how do we bring uh, more energy out? Zan saying, how would the emotionally committed Evan say it today? <laughs> well, this is it. Like, look at look at the look at the range that I'm using now. Look at the energy and look at me laughing at myself now. This is, I mean, if you've seen in my videos on stage or how we even start movement makers, there's a lot more energy. Just go watch any of my videos where, especially the espresso ones where I'm talking. It's it's just being able to tap into that emotional range instead of just being trapped in your logical brain. Because the content is the same. It's the wrapping around it. I said something that Zen liked there. He's, he's going, ooh. The content is not that different, but the packaging and how I wrapped it has changed dramatically, which allows it to hit people in, in a stronger way. Um, Denise said, so I thought this was pretty good. I need new definition for emotional delivery and impact. Yeah, and we're so worried about saying the right words. You're so worried about getting the perfect script. It's like the script is not the thing. The emotional commitment you have behind the words that you're saying is the thing that will move the needle for people. And so every time we try to learn a new skill, the emotional commitment will probably drop down a bit. Every time we give you a new structure to say, hey, like try to start with a powerful opinion. Now you're so stressed out. About, What's a powerful opinion? Did I get the powerful opinion right? Am I, did, 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 that, did that work or not? Right. And so it's okay to take a little bit of a step back every time we're trying to learn something new. But I want this to be something that, that you're constantly looking at to improve your content in watching yourself back to say, how, how emotionally committed was I to that message? That it, was I feeling it more than was I worried about saying the right words? If you want to watch the full version of this video, as well as train live with me twice a month to help you build your movement and be around some other amazing people just like you, check out my Movement Makers program. The link to join is right there next to me. Can't wait to see you there. Continue to believe and go join.